Hi, Gemini. Welcome to Willow Oak. I am here to do your reading for June. Okay. So let's just jump in and get this started. See what we find out. Your first oracle card. Oh, you have a fork in the road. You have a decision to make. Mm -hmm. Which fork in the road do you take? Sometimes it's just a matter of preference. Other times one fork in the road is better than the other. And that's oftentimes the case. Mm -hmm. Okay, since this is a general reading, please only take with you what resonates and leave the rest behind. You might check your other placements for a more complete picture, or if this reading doesn't resonate with you. Peacock spirit, let it shine. Okay, this is saying you need to be your true self at this time. Well, you should always be your true self if you can, but let your true self shine through. You're beautiful, okay? All right, we'll get one more oracle card, then we'll go into the tarot, and then we will clarify, and then we will get some information from the universe, and then we'll close it out with a charm. Creativity, beautiful. So that means you are creative at this time, and that you should use your creativity, okay? So let's go ahead and see what the tarot would like to share. So our first card is going to be your overall energy during the month of June. <laughs> Wonderful energy. You have the Four of Wands, which is telling you it is time to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's 11 11. Yep. Go with people you love, that you care about, and enjoy. It's a wonderful overall energy to have. Okay, now let's see what your potential or challenge is. Okay, it is time for you to use your intuition, your divine feminine energy and your higher power. You need to go within. This is your challenge or your potential. Go within to answer any questions that you have. You are in tune with this, okay? And this might very well be the answer to the fork in the road. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's get a card for your focus, your inner emotions. Okay, this is a beautiful card, I think. Your focus is on dropping all of the burdens. And to me, that goes right back to here, the fork in the road. Okay, now let's see your recent past. Beautiful recent past. Mm -hmm. You have the Queen of Pentacles. And this is, to me, the biggest message is balance. But what this is, is she has a career that she loves. And it brings in the income. And she has a home life that she loves. It's beautiful. And she manages to balance the two wonderfully. Okay? So this card has a few different things to share. One is that you are balanced, all right? Your recent past, you've been balanced. Your career's been good. Your home life has been good. Okay, now let's get a card for your strength. Mm -hmm.
Okay, your strength is a learning energy. This is where you are learning how to deal with people and have healthy relationships. So that is a really nice energy to have because we deal socially, you know, with people all the time. And at the bottom of the deck, you have the Page of Pentacles, which talks about you learning how to gather your resources and how to take care of what you have. Okay, let's find out what the near future says. You have the High Priestess again. Okay, the High Priestess is saying, you're in touch, you're in tune with your intuition. Go inside. Okay? Because all the answers you're looking for are there. That's your near future. Mm -hmm. And to me, it is totally connected with this, your challenge. So... I do think you are definitely meeting that challenge and going forward because here you're dropping all the burdens. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's find out your advice and how to go forward. Okay. This particular energy has both good and challenging with it. It depends on, you know, what the cards are and what's going on. This energy is very charitable. However, it is kind of closed off. It's very, um, you know, very immobile. How's that? It's you, see, you can see that it's like they're in a box kind of, right? So what I'm thinking here, what this is saying, how to go forward is to relax. Relax into what you are going for. Do not be uptight and don't be stressed. Relax into this, okay? Now let's get a card for what you need to know, what you don't see, but that will be coming in or is here. You have another learning energy, the Page of Swords. This is where you are learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. Okay. Hopes and fears. And what you do see. You see celebration, which is beautiful. And um, so what this card says is get together with everybody you love and celebrate. And to me, this is your support system. Okay. It could be family, friends, co-workers, whoever it is, get together with them, lift each other up, which means support each other and celebrate. Okay. And just to show you at the bottom of the deck, you have death, which means you are transforming out of one energy and into another. All right. And you can kind of see that with some of the cards that are out here. Whoa. <laughs> okay. All right. We have a few. Here is where you are learning and you're repeating something over and over again and adjusting it as you go until you get what you consider the very best for you. Okay. So you have learning energy here, 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 and here. So whatever this new thing is that you are starting, you are not a master of it. You're learning everything you can about it. Here, the Queen of Wands. She is very ambitious, very resilient. She is enthusiastic, unafraid to speak up and be heard, and very confident. So this is a wonderful energy, I believe, because she's a go for it kind of energy. So you are going for whatever this is that you are wanting to do. And it says, take a rest, give yourself a break. OK, 
okay? You've been working hard, so give yourself a break. And when I get this card, usually what I say is, if at any point during this process where you feel like um, you're starting to get a little overwhelmed, overburdened, um, stressed, anything like that, take a break. Go do something that you enjoy and don't think about any of this. Just go do something you like. Because when you come back, your mind will be refreshed and your heart and you'll be more grounded. So you'll be able to pick up where you left off in a much more productive manner. And your last card was at the bottom of the deck from taking this card is transformation. So you're definitely transforming out of one energy and into another. Okay, let's get a card for the fork in the road. See what that would like to share. Okay, well, to me this would definitely be the deciding factor, which fork I would take. Because the devil, let's get this over, is one of those forks. And what that would say to me is, one fork is filled with stress. Mm -hmm. Which will create these challenging thoughts. Yeah, and so you don't want to take that fork. You want to take the happy fork, right? where you're dropping all the burdens, okay? Let's get another card. Okay. What this is saying to me, the other fork, you're going to be dropping the stress that you currently have and taking on the King of Swords energy. And the King of Swords is a mature energy, very stable, and they base everything on what they know to be true. So you're dropping the stress, okay, the challenging thoughts, to take on the truth. So to me, it's pretty obvious which fork to take. I would take the one that is the truth, not the one that brings in problems. Yeah? So that's kind of a really apparent fork. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see here. It looks like prior to this time, I was going to take a card for the Ten of Wands. Prior to this time, there was an argument. Okay. Some sort of problem. And so you put yourself in a hermit energy so you can go within and find the enlightenment. And this is clarifying your focus. And your enlightenment turns out to be the Ten of Wands, which is an ending where you are dropping all the burdens. So this fork in the road, I can see where this would apply here, right? This devil energy has probably got to do with the fight. And so you know either... You know, you stay in this challenge or you take the fork where the truth is and you're taking the fork where the truth is, right? So this is bringing in a celebration. That's your, your overall energy. Beautiful. Okay, let's see. Let's take a card for the four of uh, pentacles. Let's see what we get for that. The six of wands, beautiful. Okay, what this is saying right here is you are going to be victorious. So how to go forward is relax and know that you're going to be victorious, which you will. Mm -hmm. At the bottom of the deck from taking this card, you have the Queen of Pentacles again. So to go forward, relax. Don't be so stressed, okay? Because you're picking the fork in the road that is your truth. And you have some beautiful energies here. And you're going to be victorious. And here, this is clarifying this. I'm setting it on the other Queen of Pentacles here. 
This is saying go forward with balance, knowledge that everything is going to be beautiful, both with your career and your home life. Okay. Well, actually, I should probably sit it here that way. You can see where it relates. Okay. So this is a very transformative time. The fork in the road is an obvious one. Your overall energy is one of celebration, so you know you've picked the good fork or the correct fork. You're dropping all the burdens, mm -hmm. which were created most likely by some sort of argument, something that just wasn't right. And I think the way you got there is by going in to find your enlightenment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so here it is. You have quite a bit of learning energy. So you're going to learn about what it is that you're going into. Very determined. You're going to go for it. You're going to take a break here or there whenever you need to. And you're transforming into this new energy, which is beautiful. Don't forget, use your creativity and be your authentic self. So this card makes me think that something that you're changing into has something to do with creativity. Okay, it's a creative pursuit endeavor or something like that. Okay, now let's get some cards from the universe. Yeah. This is just like the fork in the road. Okay. You have a decision that you have to make. So to me, even though they're different cards, it's kind of like the universe saying, I meant what I said. You know, you have a decision to make. And the way to make that is to go within. Use your intuition. Okay. When these cards jumped right out, the Two of Cups, unconditional love with another. It can be romantic, doesn't have to be. It's just saying that there is an unconditional love between you and somebody else, or will be. Here, I really do like this card. <laughs> okay. Um, what this card is saying, it's like, just like the image, planting a garden. Plant your seeds. Take care of them. Give them plenty of sun, nutrients. Weed your garden. And before too long, it will grow into a beautiful garden. So what you're going into, have patience, because it will take patience and time, because you have to nurture it into becoming what it is you want it to be. And you have the Empress. And the Empress is a very strong energy, very powerful. It's a mother archetype. Things flow to her, okay? Happiness, joy, abundance. And she's full of ideas that she nurtures. And you remember over here, you have creativity. This little circle here, to me, looks like this, right? So it's a beautiful energy. And at the bottom of the deck, from taking the cards from the universe, you have the sun. Ta-da! Absolutely beautiful. The sun, in some respects, is similar to the empress to me because both of these energies, all these good things flow into them. So to me, this is like giving it even more power. The sun is where things go so smoothly. What you want comes to pass. It kind of flows in. You don't have to go and struggle for it, okay? It flows to you. But you do need to relax into this, okay? Make for sure you relax into it. But that shouldn't be a problem because here you're victorious. So yeah, this is to me like the shine your light kind of energy. It's the very best card in the deck. So what you want your future to be will come to pass beautifully. And remember... These two are very similar in that everything flows to the Empress, the love, the passion, the happiness, abundance, and the same for the sun. So the ending here, or what the universe is sharing, is beautiful. It's telling you you have a decision to make, fork in the road, unconditional love, which is beautiful. This new thing that you want to create is going to take time and effort, but it's going to be very fruitful. And 
many things will flow into you. You want them? It will happen without struggle. So that's beautiful. Okay, let's get a charm. <laughs> I love this. It's in my bed. <laughs> Whenever I get um, a charm that is a vehicle of sorts, what that means to me is forward movement. Okay, so yes, you are going forward with this. I love it. Yeah, okay. Um, it would say to me, just like this, it's not going to happen overnight. You got to, you know, you're putting along. But you are definitely getting there. Beautiful. Thanks so much. I hope this helps. And if you enjoyed this reading or found it valuable, please um, give it a like, share, subscribe, leave comments. It's all appreciated. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye.